What's up friends, my name's Alex, this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I turn YouTube trends bookish and I make themed book recommendations and today I am sharing with you my TBR cart tour and my bookshelf tour. So first we have my TBR cart. When I won a Camp NaNoWriMo last year, I rewarded myself with this cart from Michaels. It's an art craft cart and I'll have a link down below if you'd like to purchase it and I will earn a small commission if you do. I love it and I'm just going to go through how I organize it. Here's the first shelf of my TBR cart. This is where I put my TBR basically. Here we have two books that I recently finished and talked about in my last video. This book I was gifted by Penguin Teen. I filmed the Instagram reel and I uploaded it to YouTube of me unboxing this book so if you would like to see it I will have some information for it down below. I also recently received Small Night and the Anxiety Monster which is a picture book from Macmillan. Here is my booktube mug. I received this for my birthday from one of my booktube friends a couple years ago and it holds everyone's business card. So if you've ever met me at BookCon and gave me your business card I still have have it here and a pin that says you're a gym and this is one of my valentines that I gave out to some of my friends a couple years ago. Then I have my wooden rainbow A that was given to me by one of my best booktube friends Sabrina and I still have it here. I love her so much and I keep this here on my shelf. Along with some of my ARCs and some of the books that subscribers have sent me, I do have an Amazon wish list which is linked down below always if you would like to support me and the channel or just gift me a book. I have a whole Amazon wish list. So here are some of the books that my subscribers have sent me and some of my ARCs and some books that I want to get to. And here I have a candle. It's kind of dirty but I do like to light it sometimes, but I don't light it in here because that would be a fire hazard. Here we have the Pocket Change Collective that I was gifted by Penguin Teen. And at the front, I have all of the books that I have read so far and the back are the ones that I need to get to. And I have some reviews of these in my last video. So that will be linked up above. Then we just have chaos. <laughs> I got a free magnet from the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. I'll see if I have a link still for anyone that wants to get one. And a couple years back, I went to a Flyers event, which is the hockey team in my town that I love. And I have my favorite hockey players as magnets. And I was recording this and realized that most of them, except here, Claude Giroux, are all off the team now. So RIP to Voracek and to Shane Gosses Bear, you deserved better. <laughs> it's for the 50th anniversary of my team. So that is why I have them and they are special and you cannot buy them. And these really just give personality to my cart. <laughs> so the second shelf just contains a lot of books that I'm going to use for videos. Here we have a sneak peek of my next book recommendation video and I also continued the theme of books that were gifted to me and books on my TBR. And the last part of my TBR cart contains books that I don't have any room for. And here are some of my library books that I got out to read in a video. So hit subscribe if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on Dan Howell's new book. All right, so that was my TBR cart and let's move on to the bookshelf. So just like my TBR cart, this is going to also just be a brief overview. So I'm not gonna be doing a traditional bookshelf tour where I go through every book because that's too much to do. But let's start with the top, which is all of my hockey stuff. Here we have my 2012 Winter Classic Hockey Puck. Here's my hockey puck signed by Matt Reed. I actually went and met him and got this signed and it was super cool. Here we have my Flyers button that I received from my aunt and it's one of my favorite things. And the Flyers are going on the peak of power play! <laughs> and every time the Flyers go on a power play, I have that button out. <laughs> One of my favorite bands is The Wonder Years and I signed up for their subscription box a couple years ago and I ended up getting this bobblehead of their mascot. 
Then we have my go away I'm reading sign which I'll also have linked down below. I hold my bookmarks in jars so I have one up here on the top of my bookshelf and one on my nightstand. For all of my magnetic bookmarks I have them in this baggie so I just end up putting them in here. You have my tech deck and I went to a Flyers event and I ended up getting a ton of pucks. Here's my foam puck keychain from the NHL Network. I went to a event and I ended up getting a lot of stuff. I requested Emery's book at the library so I entered to get some pre-order incentives including some fan art for air book, meet cute diary, and there are also some stickers. Then I have these resting on my pin jar. They're just a bunch of pins that I accumulated over the years. Then we move on to this side of my bookshelf. I also have these high, what are they called? High, no, hydroglyphic. Then we have some of these hydroglyphic, um, yeah, I think that's what it is, right? Then we have some of these hydroglyphic Trans Lives Matter stickers and I'll link the Etsy shop down below that I got these from. I didn't really know where to put them so for now they're just living on my bookshelf. In my last video I mentioned that I do have a Funko Pop of Wayne Simmons and here it is. And we have Benny the Jet Rodriguez from The Sandlot. I entered a giveaway for the Passing Playbook and I ended up getting some pre-order incentives including this notebook and a stress ball but the stress ball is not on my bookshelf right now. Hanging on the side we have my Flyers Fan Cave sign and then some posters of The Wonder Years. Then we get to the actual books on my shelf and I kind of have it color coordinated but not really so I kind of have to make do with what I have. In quarantine of last year I decided to do a rainbow shelf but since then I just have books here <laughs> I guess. Um, I have half rainbow shelves and half not so let's just go through my process. It's a little chaotic. Here we have my red and orange shelves. Then we have some green and yellow. And then we move down here to my sports books. That's what I mean by chaos is all of my sports books are here. And then we just have contemporary and just random books that kind of fit the pink color scheme. And then we just have some of my trans books over here. And then we just have contemporaries and there's really no process when it comes to the end. <laughs> So that is the overview of my bookshelf. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I also have a video where I react to authors bookshelves so that will be in the cards if you would like to watch it. Thank you all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know how you organize your bookshelves or your TBR cart. Thank you all for watching and I will see you on Saturday. Bye! Mm -hmm.